الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد so continuing on this is uh, we're going to talk about tayammum now we're going to talk specifically after we mentioned the hadith of uh, Ammar ibn Yasser رضي الله تعالى عنه now we're going to talk specifically about how to make tayammum so we mentioned that in the beginning we mentioned that we have to use clean earth and as was illustrated in the hadith of Ammar ibn Yasser where the Prophet Sallallahu said in the Makana Yakfikuk Hakada that verily it is sufficient for you just like this and then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he hit the ground with his hands and he wiped his face with his hands and then his, his palms so he did it like this then he wiped his face then he wiped his uh, right and his left. Okay? That, that's how the Prophet ﷺ, uh, one of the ways that's mentioned in the hadith. Okay? Don't worry about that. It's going to stay on the board how many times I've told you. Don't worry about it. Okay. So these are the conditions for tayammu. These are go. These are the conditions for tayammu. Okay? And a condition, again, it means that this is something that has to happen before we do the act of worship. Before we start it, that these things have to be in place. Just like we talked about conditions for Salat. If you want to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the conditions is you have to have your niyyah. You have to have your intention to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, an intention to pray that particular prayer. Another condition, for example, you have to clothe yourself properly. When sit al you have to cover yourself properly when you're going to pray. You also have to face the Qibla. Those are conditions. Those are the things which have to be in place before you pray and during the prayer. So when you're facing the Qibla as a condition, you also have to continue facing it during the prayer. These are the conditions for Tayammu, meaning these are the Shuruf or the things that have to be in place before you make Tayammu and during the Tayammu. I mean, and during, uh, you know, your act of ibadah, which of course would be salat. So, the first thing is, the first condition is that you do not have water or <coughs> you cannot use water. Okay? You either do not have water or you cannot use water. Go ahead, sit, sit and, and, and uh, write. You do not have water or you cannot use water. What does this mean? As the scholars mentioned, they mention many different uh, situations. For example... Maybe you're hiking. Maybe you're out in the desert. And you only have a little bit of water. Maybe you do have some water. You just have one bottle of water, but you need to drink from it and make wudu. So in that situation, if you need that for drinking water, then you don't have to use it for wudu because you need that water. So you do not have enough water. You still have water, but it's not enough. So in that situation, you should make tayammu. Okay? Uh, and also, so if you do not have enough water, or you do not have any water, and of course that applies, if you don't have any water, what should you do, Senna? Senna? You make Tayyum. Good. You should make Tayyum if you have no water, or you do not have enough water. Or, for example, you have some water, and you need it for something else. You need it for, as we said, for drinking, or you need it for maybe your friend or your companion or your family member and you're afraid that they're going to be harmed by not having that water, then you don't use that for wudu. You make sure they drink that water. That's for their safety, to make sure that they're not going to die or get sick or what have you. So in that situation, again, that means you do not have enough water. So if you do not have water or you do not have enough water. Also, in the same condition, or you cannot use water. What does that mean? That means, for example, uh, if someone is very sick, maybe they, they have some sickness and water is going to harm them, then in that situation, they make tayammu. They cannot use water. Sometimes people have injuries on their body. They have infections. They have different things, open wounds and sores and stuff. And water, if it gets in there, will cause them harm will cause them, cause them to get sicker, or maybe even die. In that situation, what do we do, Rashad? 
What should we do? If water is going to make you sick or cause you to die, what should you do? Tayammum. Jazakallah khairan. Then you make tayammum in that situation. So also, if the water is, it's, you're in a very cold place, maybe you're in Alaska, maybe you're in Russia, maybe you're in wherever, and it's freezing cold, even Toronto, maybe you're there and it's so cold that you might uh, uh, become very ill or possibly die from using the water because it's so cold you're going to freeze, whatever the case is, this mashaka, then in this case, you can make tayammu. Okay? You can make tayammu. So if it's going to harm you by making wudu with water, then you make tayammu. So that's one of the conditions. Another condition is that it has to be uh, a waqt, meaning that it has to be the time for salat. So if you, the uh, al waqt, meaning that if it is after, say right now it's 10 o'clock in the morning, or even now, right now it's 9 o'clock at night, we've already prayed to Isha. You don't, you, and if you don't have any water, you would not make tayammum now for Fajr. But if you were going to pray some extra prayers right now, you're going to pray with her, you're going to pray Qiyamun or something, okay, make tayammum for that. But you make your tayammum when it's time for the Salat, for that particular Salat. But if you have tayammum, if you have already made tayammum and you still have no water, and it's time for fajr, it enters the time for fajr, you don't need to, to make uh, tayammum again. Uh, this is in accordance with some of the scholars. Some of the scholars say no, you have to make it specifically for that, uh, that salat. Okay? So this is a big difference, but the main point is, is that you should make tayammum when it's the time for the salat. So, you, you also have, for the, both those conditions have to be in place. That means you do not have water, or you cannot use water, or you don't have enough water, and it has to be time for Salat. The third condition is that you have to have intention. You have to have your intention to, uh, that you're making Tayyamun, for example, for your, your, your Farb Salat. Okay, if you're making Salat for Fajr, then your intention is that you're making the Tayyamun for Fajr. Or if you're making it for Dhuhr, then you're making it for Dhuhr. You make your intention for that Salat. Not your intention for the Nawafu, not for the extra Salat, but instead for the Wajib. Then, then that's okay. We'll get the question in just a minute. But then the last thing is that you use dirt or sand. Clean earth. Okay, you should use clean earth. If, for example, if there's no water in the house, and we do not have any clean sand close by, outside. Although, how did that we do? It's very easy. But if there was on the wall, if there's enough dust, it needs to be dusty wall, then you could use the wall. You could use the wall, but it needs to be dust. There needs to be dust on the wall. Not just any wall and just say, oh, I'm making pay on the, on the board. No. It needs to be that there is d uh, dust on the wall. It needs to be dusty. If there's dust on the floor, on the wall, you can use that for tayammum. You don't have to go outside. Okay? And some people do this for sick people. When sick people are in the hospital, they don't have dirt. And the hospital needs to be a clean place. So what some, some of the hospitals do here in, in, in the Muslim countries, especially in Saudi Arabia, sometimes they have a little dish or something that has dirt in it, just for tayammum, for those people who cannot use water. That water will ha cause them harm. So they make tiyamu. They make the tiyamu, or someone helps them make tiyamu, and they prepare themselves for the prayer. And that is from the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has blessed us to be able to uh, facilitate our prayer to Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and worship Him, and given us many different ways of fulfilling that ibadah. Okay? So that makes it easy for us. And those are the main things I want to talk about with regards to tayammum. And uh, one last thing is that tayammum also, as, we, as is mentioned and as is evidenced in the hadith of Amar ibn Yasser, that tayammum also, uh, it is sufficient for the major impurities and the minor impurities. Why? Because... Uh, Amar ibn Yasser, he was Junab. He, he was Junab. Meaning he, he needed, he had the major hadith. 
So he needed to make wudu from that. He needed to make ghusl, I'm sorry. He needed to make ghusl. So he made, the Prophet said you can make tayammum. So that lets us know that tayammum is sufficient for the major and the minor impurities when it comes to preparing ourselves for prayer. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And anything I said correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.